What's cooking guys? Have you ever had really poor camera audio like this? The power invested in me in accordance with Well in this video I'm gonna show you how you can take that really poor camera audio and turn it into something that sounds really good. Alright guys, so to get started, the first thing I always like to do when I'm working with audio effects is to make sure that my clip that I'm using is going to loop. I don't want to have to keep rewinding it every time while I'm adjusting the effect and then it goes into my next clip and then my effect's not there anymore. I want to make sure it just keeps going on the same exact clip. And there's one way you can do that is you just set in and out points on both your clips. And to do that, for me, I just go up arrow to go to the front of my clip. And if you can't do that, make sure your track is selected over here and then hit I for in. I'm going to hit the down arrow, go to my end of my clip and then hit out. Now that I have my in and out set, I'm going to go over here to my button editor, click that, and then you see this loop playback button right here. Grab that and drag it right into your tools. Hit OK, make sure it's selected, and now whenever you play something, and wife. By the power invested in me and it'll loop. Simple as that. So now that we have that all set, let's go into our effects, and we're going to go into our audio effects. You can type any of these effects I'm going to show you up into the bar up here, and it'll pop up. I'm just going to show you where these are located. So the first effect I'm going to show you is under amplitude and compression and it is a multi-band compressor. So I'm going to grab that and drag it onto my audio clip. Boom. Go back into my effects controls and here's my multi-band compressor. So we can hit edit and here's our editor. So mainly what I hear in this is it's very kind of pitchy. I don't have a lot of bass. Because of the state of New Hampshire, I now pronounce you husband. And it's almost kind of scratchy. So if you hit the presets and you go down, there's some audio effects down here that you can really add like pop master, raise vocals, snare. And so I'm gonna try raise vocals to start. And, wife. By the power invested in and you can always just hit this bypass the effect, toggle it on and off to hear the difference between before me in accordance with the laws of the state and of after. Nature, I now pronounce you husband and wife. By the power invested in me in accordance with the laws of- So it just kind of boosts the vocals, but not really what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna try something different, enhance low. Yeah, exactly, Han enhance lows. I don't need highs because I already said it's kind of high pitched. So I wanna do some lows. So let's try this. The state of New Hampshire, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Toggle With it. power invested in me in accordance with the laws of the state of New Hampshire, I now pronounce you husband. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. It gives you this kind of like a little bit of a low, a little bit of a bass to it. So it's not so high pitched and sounds like it's really coming from a speaker. And they can always adjust the sliders over here. These two sliders are more for like the bass. New Hampshire, I now pronounce you husband and wife. If I'm really looking for more bass, um, they were at six. I'm gonna maybe bump them up to seven. And then these two sliders are over here are kind of like the high ends. The See if I raise this. The laws of the state of it's New back Hampshire. up to really kind of pitchy. You can always bring it back the other way. I now pronounce you husband and wife. By the power invested in me in accordance but that's almost making it kind of almost drowning it out like it kind of almost sounds like it's underwater so i don't really want to mess with that too much maybe negative one on both just a tad i don't really like to adjust the sliders too much because they are already presets but if you really want to adjust the sliders you can but for me this sounds pretty good this is again this is what it sounds like before this is what it sounds like now i now pronounce you husband and wife just that little bit of a bass, and I think that actually really helps and improves what I'm looking for. So now that we're done with that, we can hit X, and then we're going to go into our second effect. And the next one is under filter and EQ. And I'm going to look for parametric equalizer. This kind of just enhances the audio clip that we're working with. The multiband compressor was mainly helping me with that bass sound I'm looking for, but the parametric equalizer will kind of make the audio sound cleaner and like more crisp. So I'm going to do the same thing under parametric equalizer, go under edit. And then here we also have our presets we can kind of go through and check out. I'm just going to show you kind of what this scale is kind of like. When you move these points up, it's kind of affecting the high end of your audio Accordance clips. The laws of the so when I pull up, I now pronounce you husband and wife. By the power invested in me, in see how kind of loud it gets. The state of New Hampshire. And then if I bring it all the way I down, you husband and wife. By the power invested in makes it sound very low, like almost where it's underwater, like before. But it's, it's like that low end, it's more of that bass. And I, I feel like I still could use some of that bass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reset it. I'm just gonna go to a different effect and go back to default. And I'm going to just kind of pull down some of these uh, lower end sides. The laws of the state of New Hampshire, I now pronounce you. And to keep the kind of loudness of the audio clip, I'm going to kind of pull the middle a little bit. What? By the 
power invested in me in accordance with the laws of the state of New Hampshire, I now pronounce Maybe that's you a little husband high. and wife. And I'm just going to kind of mess with my other points. Maybe bring this up. Husband and it's wife. too loud. The power invested in me in accordance little with low. the laws of the state of New Hampshire. Let me increase that I a little bit. You husband and wife. By the power invested it's too pitchy in me there, so like I said, the bring a couple of these side ones down. And wife. By the power invested in me in accordance with that's too high, the remember. laws of the state of New Hampshire, I now pronounce you husband Keep and wife. Keep it low. So I'm just going to fine tune this some more to really kind of get what I'm looking for. That, might, that point might be a little too high. It's kind of giving me the, still that scratchy and sound. Wife. By the power invested so in I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. I kind of want it to sound like it's a speaker or like a microphone, but I don't want it to sound scratchy like it's blasting from a speaker, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want it to sound really pitchy. I want it to sound a little bassy, but keep the loudness, like I said. So I'm kind of keeping it on the low end throughout the whole thing. And also keeping it up on kind of my high ends to kind of keep the loudness of it. And like, again, this is what it sounded like before. Invested in me in accordance with the laws of the state now, of New Hampshire. I now pronounce you husband and wife. And I think that sounds pretty good. So that's our second effect. And now for our last effect, I'm going to go back into our effects and I'm going to go down to noise reduction and restoration. To get rid of some of the speaker sound and kind of that reverb, I'm going to add a D reverb to my audio clip. Go back to effects controls, go to D reverb and of course hit edit. And then you have your presets here. I'm going to do a light reverb because if you do a heavy reverb, then you're going to really start getting the state of New Hampshire. A weird sound. I don't want it like that. I kind of want to get rid of that speaker echo, but I want it to not be so aggressive where it's creating some weird sounds. Invested in me in accordance with the laws of the state. So this is what it sounded like before. State of New Hampshire. I now pronounce you husband. A little bit wife. echoey. By the power invested in me in accordance with the laws of the state of New Hampshire. It kind of just removes some of that higher end echo from the speakers and brings it down just a little bit so it's not as noticeable. I know it's kind of hard to hear right now, but it really makes a big difference and kind of adds the tip to um, all these effects and really makes this camera audio sound so much better. And again, you can always adjust the amount, but I think that sounds perfect. So I'm going to close. And those are all the effects we're going to be using. So I'm going to start by turning off all my effects by hitting the FX buttons. And we're going to listen to the original clip and then go through all of them, and see what it sounds like at the end. So here we go. Power invested in me. In original clip. The laws of the state of New Hampshire. Adding the multiband compressor. Husband and wife. By the power invested in Adding the parametric equalizer. The laws of the state of New Hampshire. I now pronounce Adds that you bass. husband and wife. By the and the power the reverb. invested in me in accordance with the laws of the state of New Hampshire. I now pronounce there we go. And for the final time, the original clip in me in accordance with the laws of the state of New Hampshire with all the effects added in me in accordance with the laws of the state of New Hampshire. That just made the camera audio sound so much more natural and a lot better, a lot less echoey from the speaker and added a little bit more bass and took away some of those high tones. All right, guys, that's all I got for you in this video. I hope it helped you out. And I hope some of these effects will turn some of your poor camera audio into something that's a lot better. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and please subscribe and ring that bell so you can be kept up with all my other tutorial videos like this. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.